Have you ever wondered why it's so important to train your glutes? Well, in this video, I am going to tell you why every woman over 40 should be exercising and training your glutes. I'm also going to give you a list of exercises that you can utilize to implement into your workout for stronger and bigger glutes. If you're interested, stick around. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Nanda Urbina. And in this channel, I like to provide information for women over 40 that are looking to have a stronger and healthier life. So let's get into this video. This video is really about glute training and why it is so important for women over 40 to train their glutes. Now, if you have a social media account, you probably have already seen that glute training is extremely popular and you yourself might be training glutes because you want nice, beautiful, round glutes. And you're not alone. A lot of women are in the same boat. But let me tell you that aesthetics is not the only reason that we should be training our glutes. That is obviously a great driver and a great push for women to train their glutes. But the real reason why you should be training your glutes is for health and longevity reasons. Because as we age, we're losing muscle mass and bone density. And if we're not working out, then that, that goes even at higher rates. But if you're working out and you're putting effort into building your muscles and building your bones, you're gonna be in a better position. But let me tell you that building a strong, glute core is essential for injury prevention. One of the videos that I published, which I'm going to be linking below, I talk about the five reasons why women over 40 need to be exercising. And in that video, I talk about sarcopenia and osteoporosis. And those two factors are crucial um, for us to be working out, especially our glutes, because especially in as, as we get older, we have to be careful with this region because a hip injury could be a life-threatening injury for you. And so if you try to protect and make this part of your body extremely strong, you're going to be better off in any situation down the line. So I really think that you need to incorporate a lot more glute exercises into your regimen. And if your trainer or if somebody else doesn't agree with you, then you need to change that trainer because you have to be looking out for yourself. And yes, training your entire body is extremely beneficial. You must be training your arms, your chest, your back, every, every part of your body is important, but you do need to pay a little more attention to your glutes. And so now I'm going to go ahead and give you a recommendation for a book that, that I think you need to read as you're looking at improving your body for the rest of your life. All right. So the book that I'm going to recommend is a book by Brett Contreras and his book is called the glute lab. And if you have been lost from YouTube world, then you don't know who he is, but I will tell you that in YouTube, Instagram, in the world of the glute world, he's the glute guy. And so he has actually gotten his PhD on glutes. He has studied, he has written so many articles. I mean, the guy, um, you can go to his website. He publishes articles and studies and he knows everything that there needs to be about glutes. And so he wrote this book, like I said, the glute lab, which I'm going to be linking down below. If you're interested in getting the book, I highly recommend it because he goes into a deep dive into information about why you should be training your glutes, the physiology of the body and the glutes in particular. He also talks about 
the different exercises. He talks about diet. He talks about a lot of different things. And he provides you also with information about being able to put your own program together if you don't have a trainer and if you want to basically build your own program. So it is a very thorough book. I mean, literally it is like that thick. And so I would highly recommend it for you. And I'm not going to review the book, but I am going to talk to you about the big concept and the concept of how do you structure your workout if you want to build strong and better looking glutes. And in his concept and methodology, basically he looks at his workouts. When he's developing workouts for his clients, he looks at basically putting like three types of exercises into your, into your exercise program. The first one being your primary lifts. The primary lifts are those that are the kind of the compound lifts that are the most taxing and most intense, which hit more body movements and body muscles than your, than some other exercises. And I'm going to give you a list of those a little bit later on, but these exercises are typically always done at the beginning of your exercises. And so you want to be fresh. You want to be, you know, very rested before you hit those exercises. And for the, po for the most part, those are those exercises with the least repetition. So you really want to load as much as you can in terms of the weight, but then you want to make sure that you can still perform the exercise at a good level. And then you kind of stick to a lower rep range on these primary lifts. The second set of exercises are your accessory type of exercises, which are complementary to your primary lifts. And they could be derivations of those particular lifts, but they are more in the higher rep range. So for example, your accessory lifts may have, you know, reps between eight to 12 reps per exercise. And so these exercises, again, are complementary to your primary lifts. And then last but definitely not least are your burnout exercises. And these burnout exercises are pretty much to give you that pump, you know, to get the blood flowing. And so you want to have really high reps of about 20 or plus, you know, for the exercises at the end of your program. And so he likes the rule of three in the sense that you spend a third of your time on you know your primary lifts then your accessory work and then your burnout exercises and so if you have a good list of exercises you can kind of come up with a good workout program for yourself but now i'm going to give you three exercises for each one of those lift categories that way, if you're a beginner, then you're going to have a good foundation to start from in your journey for bigger and stronger glutes. So with that, let's go to the exercises. All right, so let me just talk to you about the first primary lift that everybody pretty much knows about, and it's the squat. And in this video, I'm performing a back squat, which I really, really like for a lot of different reasons. But before you get started, my recommendation is that you warm up. Um, this is definitely a very um, taxing exercise. And so you want to make sure you warm up and fire up your glutes um, before you actually get started. My recommendation is to do, you know, either just uh, simulate the body movement of the squat, you know, and do that for maybe two to three sets of 20 reps. Or you could do a body weight banded hip thrust about two to two to two to three sets of 15 reps just to to warm up. Now, the reason why I really love the the squat is an exercise it it actually kind of works the entire leg obviously this exercise is more quad dominant so you're really going to feel it in your quads but you're also going to feel it in your lower glutes and so it's really a great exercise that should be done in your first exercise if you're going to be working out legs so all right let's move on to the next 
So the next primary lift that I want to talk about is the deadlift. And everyone that works out is familiar with deadlifts. There's a number of variations, including the stiff-legged deadlift, the conventional and the sumo deadlift, which is the one that I'm performing on this video. That is just my preferred, preferred exercise when I do deadlifts. Now, I will say that you can perform both squats and deadlifts on the same workout, but just be, be aware that both exercises are very taxing to your body. And if you're gonna do both of them, then from what I've read and researched is that you should try and do your squats before you do your deadlifts because the squats demand more of your body and it's probably because of that full range of motion um, between the entire leg that makes them a little bit more complicated. So if you really want to do both on the same workout, then do your deadlifts after your squats. Um, I, I, I'll tell you that I do perform both of them in one exercise and I like it because I feel like it gives me a, a complete body, a complete leg workout because the squats are, are um, quad dominant and the deadlifts are hamstring dominant and both of them work your lower glutes. So I tend to really like this combination of exercises for my workout. All right, let's move on to the third and, and final primary lift. All right, the third primary lift that you should consider incorporating for your leg days are the hip thrusts. And Brett Contreras is the one that invented this movement. And so what it basically does, um, it is a very glute dominant exercise. So if you want to target your glutes more than your legs, then this is the exercise that you need to be incorporating into your workouts. And so I tend to to do these uh, about once a week and so I'm trying to improve on my strength but these are excellent for glute activation. To sum it up these three primary lifts are excellent for any type of glute concentrated workout so you now have at your disposal the three top primary lifts. You can incorporate all or a variation of these um, through your program. So with that, let's move on to the accessory exercises. So these exercises are complementary to your primary lifts. So once you've done your primary lifts, then you want to move on to other exercises that hit the same muscles but not in the same manner that you were doing with the first so these exercises should be somewhat challenging so remember your primary lift should be you know in the lower rep range you know maybe up to five reps and then your accessory exercises you can think about these exercises in the 8 to 12 range so I'm going to do the Bulgarian split squat, the hip banded kettlebell deadlifts, and the kettlebell forward lunge. These three are all vertically loaded exercises and what that basically means is that they're exercises where your body is going up and down. Now there's different variations and different type of exercises but this this video would be way too long if I gave you everything. I just want to give you a good mix of vertically loaded exercises for this particular video and in other videos I'll come back and talk a little bit more about what Brett Contreras is basically defining as you know other type of exercises for the glutes and so the bulgarian split squat is great because it's a squat but it's actually doing it one leg at a time and so you can see that the movement is basically taking you up and down with your leg resting on your bench and then you're having to move up and down and so that will give you a certain contraction one leg at a time. Then the next one is the hip banded kettlebell deadlifts. And this is a great exercise because 
it's like two exercises in one and it's somewhat of a standing hip thrust but at the same time it's a deadlift because when you're going up then that's when you start seeing down, you start feeling the contraction as if you were doing a banded hip thrust. But when you're coming down, you're actually doing a, a deadlift. And so you, what you wanna do is try and go as heavy as you can and also make sure that you look for a band that's got a lot of traction. And so that way it's actually pulling you and making it harder for you to go down. All right, and the last one is the kettlebell forward lunge. This one I love as well because lunges are fantastic. Now, I typically would be doing a walking lunge, but my garage is extremely small, and I just decided to grab a kettlebell and started forward lunging. And so it's just what it is. It's similar to a squat in the sense that you're lunging forward though and then you're pushing yourself back up so again these are vertically loaded accessory exercises all right now let's move on then to the last set of exercises which are your burnout burnout exercises are fantastic to finish out your workout and these exercises are more than anything used to just kind of finish out the entire workout and so it should be less taxing on your body but you know they still can give you that burn or that metabolic stress that you're looking for and so some of the ones that I'm going to be showing you here are the banded standing kickbacks, the banded seated abduction, and the banded frog reverse hyper. And these are all great burnout exercises for your glutes. I recommend that you try the banded standing kickbacks. These are great for uh, an entire glute workout. So it works both the, the top, the lower, and kind of the side muscles of your glutes and you know you basically could do you know either like 20 repetitions on each leg or you could maybe for a real burnout do like 30 seconds of of the repetition per leg and then just do like maybe two sets of each just for the end of your workout the banded seated abduction is a, another great exercise that you can do at the end of your workout and this exercise is also used to work out your gluteus medius and I love it so in the video um, I have a variation that I got from another one of Brett Contreras books which basically is having you do the abduction like pretty much laying um, closer to your back and, and that hits certain areas. So you're trying to hit all the areas around your glutes. So you start, you know, kind of angle to the, to the back and then do 10 reps of those. And then you get back up and you sit upright and you do another 10 reps there. And then you kind of tilt forward and then you do another 10 for a total of 30 reps. And that will give you an all around workout of your your gluteus medias and upper glutes. So I highly recommend this one. All right, so for our last exercise here, we have the banded frog reverse hyper. And this is another great finisher exercise that will give you that that burn at the end and so what I'm doing here is basically doing a set of I'm doing two sets of 20 reps at the end so go ahead and try it out and you'll see that you're going to be burning after this so I hope you enjoy these exercises all right guys thank you so much for coming back to my channel i do hope that you enjoyed this video if you did i please ask you to give me a like and if you like the content from this channel please consider subscribing and leaving me a comment below it does help me out so until next time i'm wishing you a stronger and healthier life